Well, what's up YouTube, Mellow Weather Matt here. As you can see from hands, we are back for another TTG deck profile again. And this time we're on to, ta da Lauren Aral. Honestly, the most viable deck in the current format for Overdress out of all the lyrical decks. It's really strong, easy to pilot, and honestly, so unique to compared to the rest of the rest of the lyrical decks. This is obviously branching into a new mechanic they've not done yet, so it's really nice to cover. So first up, obviously we do run Lauren Earl starter to deliver a song Lauren or Alt. Obviously usual start skill of when this unit is placed on when this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, you draw a card. Next up we do run one copy of the Robbing Search Lauren Earl. Her skill is when this unit is rolled upon. You can search your deck or hand up to one grade one song card, bring it to your opponent and put it into your order zone. If you search your deck, you shuffle your deck and if you put, put it from your hand, you draw a card. Obviously, this is really good because songs are the main theme of the deck. But you also need to know of when using this skill to put it in the order zone, it does not actually count as playing an order this turn. So you can do this skill and still play an order from hand on top of that. Then next up we do have Grade 2 Lauren Earl. It's Blossoming Vocal Lauren Earl. Her, she's got two skills. First one is Continuous. During your turn if your order zone has a face up song, this unit gets power plus 5000. Second skill is when this unit is rode upon, there's your deck or hand up to a one Grade 2 song card, read it and put it into your order zone. If you search your deck, shuffle your deck. If you put it from your hand, you draw a card. So second skill is literally the same as the first one, except the fact that you're now getting a grade two order instead of a grade one order. And obviously same again, the putting from this does not count as activating an order this turn. Then the last part of the ride line is Heartfelt Song, Love on a Roll. Skill is Act once per turn, you can count up last one and choose a face up card from your order zone and sing it. It's got to be a song card, obviously. And second skill is when this unit attacks, you have two or more face up cards in your order zone. Uh, face down cards in your order zone, sorry, not face up, apologies there. Uh, choose one face up order from your song from your order zone, sing it, and then until the end of the battle, your opponent cannot call Sentinels and two Guardian Circle. So first skill obviously is the main mechanic of the deck which is singing your songs and the second skill obviously the, the sentinel trick does not require you to flip an order face down the requirement is having two face down orders so you've got two face down orders no face ups you attack with lower and a roll you can activate the skill because you've fulfilled the cost you do what you can of the skill because it's his vanguard so you attempt to flip a face up or a face down, but you can't. But you do still get the sentinel trick out of it. Obviously, we'll then move to the grade threes and orders, because I've grouped them together, because obviously the orders are the main part we do need to discuss. Obviously, three more persona rides. We're going to go through in reverse order, so we'll start with the grade one order, which is Romantic Happiness. Romantic Happiness has got the skill of act uh, auto in the order zone. When this song is sung, can draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets power plus 5,000 at the end of turn. So the act of singing an order is, obviously you activate her skill, count plus one. You then select your order. So we're selecting Romantic Happiness. You fulfill the skill cost, which is, obviously you can draw on a card, given power plus 5,000, and then you turn it face down. This does come into effect with one of the later orders, which I will explain it to once we actually get there. Next up are my grade 2 orders. I'm going to do them all together because obviously this is where variance comes in for my list compared to the usual lists. Is I run three Mad Red Runways and one Twilight Sound of Waves. Now the normal lists would run four copies of Mad Red Runway. I like this more for the fact of Mad Red Runway skill of when this card is placed in the order zone, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, draw a card. That skill doesn't actually activate if you're going first. Mad Red Runway's second skill, whilst we're talking about skills for it, is when this song is sung, choose one of your vanguards, it gets plus one critical to land a turn. 
So with Twilight Center Rose actually having a skill for if going first, I do. If I've got what access to one of these, I do like to grab this from the deck for if I'm going first, so I can get a skill no matter what, and then save this for the following turn, and I can then go off with it. While that's on a wave skill, however, is when this unit is placed in the order zone, choose one of your vanguards that gets power plus 5,000 per turn. So just for playing it for the turn from grade 2 skill, Lauren Earl then jumps up to an 18k beta. Second skill is when this song is sung, all your front row gets power plus 5,000 at the end of turn. So obviously, if you do sing it, end up singing it, you do get extra power out of it for your front row, which obviously combining it with the, re the restand of the final order does actually put a lot of pressure on your opponent still. Also, more with the combos, if you do this and then singing this for the turn, your Vanguard's actually going to 23. Putting a booster behind it as well does give a lot of pressure for the early game for Lauren Earl. It is honestly a really good card. Then the final order is honestly the most powerful card in the deck. Sixth Flower Fractal. Sixth Flower Fractal skill is when this, unit, this card is placed in your order zone, choose a face down card in your order zone and you may turn it face up. So this lets you reuse your songs that are in play if you want to. You do have to be careful obviously because you do want to make sure you don't flip yourself out at the point of you can't actually use second skill of lower and roll to add the two face down orders. Second skill is the one that I was talking about earlier where it actually does matter with the, the timing of the flipping the orders face down. This card says, Auto Order Zone, when this song is sung, choose the same number of your rear guards as the number of face down cards in your order zone and them. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets power plus 10,000 for each of your units stood by this effect. So obviously, the reason that it does matter is obviously, say for example, we've got this face down from the first turn. We've then activated Lauren or Alt to turn this face down. We're then attacking with this face up and we're going to use Lauren or Alt's second skill. So we sing our song. So obviously we're choosing Six Flower Fractal. Skill goes off. We've got two face down cards. So we stand two rear guards, give the Vanguard plus 20k, and then this goes face down. The reason this is key is because obviously if it, you did that first, you've technically got three, which is wrong. You cannot do that. It's still a really strong card. This does obviously get better on in the later game because obviously... The more the game goes on, the more face down orders you will actually have in play. And obviously, the more rear guards you'll stand and give power to the Vanguard. So, let's just place these all over here. Next up is Grey Twos. We do run four copies of the best support card in the deck Honest Council President Echnoa. Echnoa's skill is auto once per turn. When this unit attacks, if your Vanguard sang a song this turn, this unit gets power plus 5,000 until the end of turn, comma. Then, you can count up last one, card a card from your hand, and draw two cards. So obviously, this is really good, because obviously, ditch one, draw two, it's three plus one. Well, te technically, three, not three, because obviously you're playing counter blast, but you get to attack, ditch one, draw two, and give power plus 5,000. One thing I do want to note, which I have heard people are doing. You can't attack, choose to give the 5k, wait for the restand from this, and then when you attack again, cat blast, ditch one, draw two. That doesn't work. Because you've this is a literal once per turn. The effects the two effects are tied as one. You can attack, choose not to use the skill, wait for the restand, and then do cat blast one. Uh, plus 5k, cat plus 1, ditch 1, draw 2. You can't split them up into... I'll do the first part on the first attack, second part on the second attack. It must all be done at once or nothing. You can choose to give 5,000 power and not discard 1, draw 2. That part is optional. But you do need to note that you must not split the skills up. That is a very much not how the card works. Next card up is four copies of Dancing Score Elmer. So we are going to get the jokes out of the way. This is a horse called Elmer. Elmer's glue is made out of horses. That they went with, they went with that joke. It is very amusing, but 
dry humor is the honest one response there. Elmer's skill is when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you can Soul Blast one, and this unit gets power plus five thousand to the end of battle for each card in your order zone. So obviously this is really good because obviously later in the game you're getting well just from riding up from zero to three you're gaining plus 10k shield from the grade one and the grade two you're placed in the order zone if on say for example grade two turn you place another order and on your grade three turn you place another order that's now 25k shield for just a soul blast this is really good defense for the deck really strong last grade two we run is three copies of candid big sister audrey audrey's got the skill of during your turn if your order zone has a card, this unit gets power plus 5,000. So obviously 13k attacker from grade 2 onwards. Really good card. It does scale nicely, whereas like Elmer, unfortunately, she is, because of her strong skill, she did get made into a 9k, so it doesn't scale, so you do have to be careful. But really good cards nonetheless for the grade 2 lineup. Grade 1s, we run 4 copies of the PGs, because why wouldn't you? Usual skill of when this card's placed, on guardian circle if you've got one or less cards in hand you do not have to discard and rounding up the grade ones we do run three copies of fighting spirit recharge luisa luisa's got the skill of when this unit boosts if your vanguard sang a song this turn this unit gets power plus 5000 to send the battle and this is a unit is boosting a vanguard you can then counter charge one this is really good because obviously this is counter charge to pay for Lauren Earl's counter blast. So literally every turn you're singing a free song. Or you're getting a free discard one draw two if you're not singing a song that turn. It's really good. I do only run it at a three due to lack of space. But honestly, really good card. Other tech options you can run is there is a grade one that gains at 5,000 power. To become a 13k booster if you've got two cards in your order zone but i found that these worked better more for the fact of the lenard matchup because putting a booster down behind an elma or an Eknoa does open you up to lenard a bit more whereas the just having this as 13k attacker still has that pressure and you're only having a one card column so lenard doesn't hit you as hard in grade zeros we do run the obvious over trigger we did go for fantastic finale katrina so we did go for on the on theme cat over trigger for the cat deck. It has got the additional drive check skill of when you drive check it for the rest of the game, you as the player get the skill of all your rear guards get power plus ten thousand. So really good card. Why would you not run it in this format? Then triggers. We do run the obvious eight crits, three draws. And four heals. We've got draw power already in the deck in the forms of Ek Noah. You've got the orders that order that draws. You've got so much deck thinning as it is. You don't need too many draws. And you want the crit pressure on all your units. Obviously four heals because you always run four heals. But that is it for this deck profile. If you haven't done so already, please do like, comment, subscribe. It very much does help the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.